thought I'd just record a video here. I'm driving this uh, new used farm truck back to the house. Got 316,786.2 now miles per gallon. I mean, uh, mile. Yeah, miles per gallon would be awesome. But miles on it. And runs awesome. Just sitting here driving down the road. And uh, doing great. Heading back on the road to home. Talk to you later. Bye. Looks like there's a fuel leak somewhere in the tank. I filled it right to the top. It's leaking all the way down over there. Hey, John with Off Grid Homesteading here. This is the beginning of September 2017. Just wanted to give a recap of kind of um, the different things that have happened in the last year um, and just take a couple minutes to do this. But uh, the different things we, you know, we started out with having a um, basically a table, um, my workshop table, which was sitting right about there with the chop saw on it, uh, where I made the first. Um, racking system for the solar panels which are down the hill that are pumping the water up to the top of the hill here which are then uh, you know being pumped all over the place from here so and the second thing is we built uh, the metal building and once we got the metal building going then we could build get the solar panels and stuff over there uh, put in place uh, get the batteries and stuff in place and uh, get the electrical working solar and electrical were the two first things that um, had to work on here to get get things rolling um, there this is one of the additions right here that's Earl actually no that's Earl and that's Retta and there are geese and then um, anyway so let's go back here so we got the trailer going um, we had to put some siding and stuff on it during the winter months to help with uh, um, with the wind and stuff blowing in we're gonna actually add an addition to this uh, probably uh, looking at probably a 12 foot by 20 foot addition approximately from here all the way to about here so I'm gonna add on to that use a wood stove to heat with this this winter and that should make things a little bit um, uh, toastier and and less uh, humid not having to heat with propane um, and then Let's see, we had our propane tank installed, that gave us our gas heat that we needed and also um, then over time we ended up getting the two generators installed over here. Um, I got a video on that on the channel too. The orange one is actually the second backup generator to the first one right there. And then I uh, built the shed over here, um, this actual pole barn and I need to actually enclose uh, part of that for the winter so we you know get less uh, precipitation inside there um, actually even with the overhang the way it is no water comes in it's just a uh, you know just a little humid just like the outside temperature but outside of that when uh, inclement weather has come I just basically take uh, some plastic sheeting and stuff and put it right across here and then back in that back section that just kind of keeps that whole area um, nice and nice and dry except when it's really raining then we have a little bit of a flood that goes down that way so that eventually I think is just going to be parking area for stuff but uh, and then we'll, we'll build another barn after that but that was pretty good for you know first attempt and only cost me actually nothing everything there is from recycled materials the um, um, the metal and stuff here came from that building that we took apart over at our friend's place and all of the joists and everything uh, over there came from that house as well the poles and stuff uh, came from um, let's see those that tree line down there where we actually cut the water line in to get um, the trench down to the lower cistern then we got the acquisition of um, tractor as well and that's been working pretty good I actually have to change the starter on that because it looks like it's getting weak um, so we got that a couple projects to do there that little lawnmower from the city has never really run when we got out here um, that's another project if I ever want to get it going that chipper is from our neighbor we kind of share some of the things I service the items and and he brings them over here and leaves them got a couple of uh, uh, generators here to work on for some people and uh, let's see what else well we got the zero turn right there the time cutter by Toro and that that works real good 
And what else? Got our sound system installed out here. Got an Apple TV. Got uh, Apple TV and a monitor out here where I can stream videos or movies or it's no time for movies. Most of it's been just either podcasts or uh, music. And then we can just angle these speakers. Those speakers right there shoot down uh, towards there so we get nice um, outdoor music when we have guests and stuff over. And then the inside speaker right there takes care of me while I'm working in the shop. And then we got a project here for um, uh, our son Cole. Found this vehicle from one of our friends and uh, he's going to be buying that. So we're going to help him fix that up, get that home. This is our first bush hog that um, um, you know worked okay for a little bit, but it's just uh, needed a little bit more servicing than I was wanting to keep up with. It's actually a little bit small. So our uh, friend Randy brought this uh, five footer up here. Haven't actually used this yet because I got to get the uh, tractor um, going over there. Uh, once this is um, up and running, we should have a really nice unit here. And then we've got Big Red. Big Red is the, hey duckies, or geeseys. I always call them ducks, but they're geese. And then we got Big Red over here, which is uh, a Ford F600. And it's probably mid 60s and really nothing to the engine in this thing. It needs, um, uh, let's see here, there's really nothing to it except distributor, cooling, ignition, fuel, braking. So I've got a uh, distributor that I need to put on here and then uh, test that. Outside of that, I mean it's a very, very simple engine. I mean, what more could you need than spark air and fire? Uh, and then here's the, it's got some um, uh, storage units here for our own tools. This has got a crap load of um, nuts and stuff here from animals that have been messing with it. We just gotta, that's a lot of work that has to be done to it. But to get it up and running, doesn't look like it should be that difficult. And uh, tires, you know, decent shape. It's good enough for farm use for now. And then we've got the dump bed, which is, uh, it's, you know, hydraulically activated and stuff. And check out this metal. Look at that. I mean, it's just massive. That's like half inch thick steel for pulling trailers, whatever you need to over there. And uh, so we got, I don't know how many cubic yards or whatever this is, but it's a lot more than the... Uh, um, a regular dump bed from a pickup truck or anything else. This is a tractor that our neighbors uh, leave here because uh, they're getting ready to build up here. So we have access to use this one. This is the bush, I mean, uh, um, backhoe that they ended up getting. And uh, I've been servicing this and getting keeping this thing running. So we've got access to this now. And then, last but not least, not sure exactly what we're going to do with this. I'm thinking possibly have this as our chicken coop and uh, our, our animal coop that can be protected during the winter months and uh, something that'll be easier to heat that actually has some insulation in it. These guys are following. This is kind of crazy. And uh, so looks a little bit ugly. Needs a good pressure washing, good cleaning, good gutting. But I've seen a number of videos on YouTube on uh, how people turn these into a, uh, a, a great uh, chicken coop. But it looks like it's in pretty decent shape in terms of the outside. I mean, it's just got uh, tree goo and stuff all over it. But outside of that, um, it's all aluminum, aluminum uh, panels uh, with nice uh, seams and things like that. So I think it can be uh, recovered fairly well. And uh, compared to the chicken coops and stuff that we've got over there, we've got our uh, ducks and stuff staying here. Our chickens are currently in there. And then the geese stay in there during the night. We switch the chickens out of this uh, more secure location into this. But um, anyway, we were just thinking about rebuilding all that anyway. And when I saw some videos on uh, campers as a potential uh, chicken coop, I thought, what the heck? 
maybe I can bring uh, bring this one out and try it out. Worst case, pressure wash it, clean it up, and just turn around and resell it, or um, we can keep it and have it as a you know sleeping space for somebody who comes and visits. So we shall see. Not sure what we're going to do with that yet. Anyway, that's a lot. That's a lot for um, a year of being here. Of course, we still have our friend's tra uh, trailer that we had there. We need to get that back to them. And then our neighbors um, ended up bringing uh, this one over that sits here until, you know, whenever they need it. And we've got access to it as well. So, a lot of things you can do. And then again, oh, here we go. Our property goes... 30 acres. Let me zoom to the end. See if I can see it on the screen here. So way, 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 way back to the back tree line back there. And actually the back tree line is that line way back there. So if you take that line, continue it over, I mean it's pretty far back there. And then um, this a little section that's cut out over there. We come in the top gate. Stuff uh, sometimes over here, a little bit past that telephone pole. This area up here, where that big dirt pound, uh, uh, pound dirt pile is, um, I'm going to be making and digging out a. Um, we're going to dig a pond, and uh, put a huge pond up here so we can take the. Uh, run, rainwater runoff and uh, have some water up here for the animals as well and that is it so thanks for joining me for oh I forgot to mention the gazebo the gazebo was one of the first things we put together here too just so that we had some cover while we were um, getting the uh, homestead going oh, that's a lot feels like I haven't done enough um, and I've also been building websites and doing other work that you actually can't see here. Websites and and uh, some Google photography for 360, you know, virtual tours for the inside of businesses and stuff, which is um, kind of the way that we're, um, you know, earning uh, money out here and doing that, you know, from the uh, camper as it's a remote remote job. And outside of that, um, that's just kind of a... A little bit of an update. If you like uh, what you see here, drop us a line, drop us some comments, and if there's anything else you think that we could have up here or do or um, anything, just uh, drop us some uh, mention in the comments. If there's anything we do to help you, let us know. Take care. Bye-bye.